If you have a Nissan Leaf or another car that has Jetimo plug for charging, you have a problem in Europe right now. For the last few years, the all new cars all have CCS plug and when you drive long distance here in Germany, for example, everywhere on highway gas stations and something like this, you see CCS chargers by the millions. A bit over. <laughs> exaggerated here but Chatamo plugs are getting less and less and so if you want to do a long distance trip in a uh, trip in a Nissan Leaf like this for example it might be a bit challenging but we have a solution EV Nicholas has supported this video and provided me this CCS to Chatamo adapter a very cute thing <laughs> very interesting and we're gonna test today how, uh, how it works if it works and in what charger it will work we will charge here at a hypercharger then we go to Ionic and then we charge it in a different hypercharger that can only do 50 kilowatt to see how it works and what's happening. This adapter supports up to 1000 volt 200 amp I can only charge maximum of 62 and a half kilowatt and this is not as easy as you think you're not just uh, putting wire to wire and that's it no there's a computer in here because the CCS uh, protocol is different than a Chatamo protocol so it has to be translated in real time so there's a computer in here that you can charge via USB-C unless you use this adapter uh, a lot then the charging the car itself will charge the computer in here and this also means that you get firmware updates so right now not every CCS charger is supported and so there will be regular updates so you can update this device so it works on as many chargers as possible and you yourself can even debug so if you charge somewhere and it doesn't work you can connect the laptop here and then get a log file and this you can send to the manufacturer and then they will update the adapter so it might work on your charger as well so that's a good cool idea but let's try it out so we made it work and it charges with almost 74 kilowatts so it's a 200 amp limit uh, the first three times we plugged it in and it didn't work and now the fourth time it worked and it's, a, it's 74 kilowatt not 62 and a half I hope everything is fine we have a, a 370 volt here and it works it looks okay it looks stable there's a lot of weight this has like three four kilos and then the plug so I hope this is all okay for the Chatamo plug. So success number one, let's go to Ionity and see if it works there. Okay, now it's time we are at Ionity and we have the Nissan Leaf here and we're gonna try this now here at Ionity. Uh, exciting. So we tried it four or five times on two different chargers and it didn't work. It's the same error we got before, so it's communicating. It shows at the charger 1% state of charge and then it stops. And at the other one, we changed plug and then it worked. And here we changed dolls and it so doesn't work. So we'll go to the 50 kilowatt charger there, also a hypercharger and try it there. So at the 50 kilowatt charger, it also doesn't work. Now we add a hypercharger again, a 300 kilowatt, and it worked right away. So you plug it in, it says 1% and the car beeps, but then it starts charging. So it, this charger here, it works perfectly. 41% and again, we have the 200 amp limit, charging with 74.6 kilowatt. So when you turn it on, it, it, is bl it just blinks, but when it's then charging, it's always on. We are at the next charger. This is now a 75 kilowatt hypercharger, the thin ones, and it works. And I, we even get good speed. What do we get? We get 75 kilowatt. That's the stuff at 50%. EV Nicholas is a European company based in Bulgaria and they're proud <laughs> to have the biggest variety of charging adapters 
in Europe. If so, if you have imported your car from North America, from Japan or from China, they have everything. It's amazing. They also have high quality charging cables and Tesla accessories and they ship worldwide. The adapter, I think, is a pretty great idea. They just have to work that it works on most of the chargers. We did five chargers today and on three chargers it worked. And you get very high power. We got 75 kilowatt at some point, so that's cool. And that's the highest the Nissan Leaf can give. That's what the owner, no, he said 80 kilowatt was once the highest. And we never, well, we could have charged in the first charger more than the 75, but that's really cool. The adapter has 24 months of warranty. It's CE certified. Um, they will ship this adapter from mid-April on and it should be in shipping in Europe should take two to seven days. You get lifetime software support, so updates, firmware updates, so it will work at other chargers. So that is cool. It can get wet as far as we can see. It says IP54 on. On it they have a 14 days return policy on this so if you get it you try it out and you don't like it you can return it and also another thing if you have a car from North America they have a CCS1 to Chatamo adapter as well of course there's a link in the description below to this adapter and the CCS to Chatamo adapter as well check them out that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye